Here is a soft pastel painting on Reeves BFK paper that I started that just didn't turn out the way that I wanted it to. I did two of them at the same time. One turned out, one didn't turn out. The one that did turn out ended up ripping. So then I was left with this one, which I didn't really like. So I thought, what am I going to do with this? Am I going to continue to work on it and keep plugging away at it? Or am I going to just gesso over it? So that's what I decided to do is to put some clear gesso on it and start fresh. So I'm taking a natural bristle brush that I got at the hardware store and I'm applying Liquitex clear gesso right over the top of all of my pastel. And you can see that it is blending those pastels, really kind of making a mess out of everything. But in the process, I'm creating a new surface, a new sanded surface that I can work on. So it's an experiment. It's fun to try. So if you have got some older works on regular paper, not sanded paper like you art, but you might like to give this a try. So I've got my paper pretty much covered up with clear gesso now. And the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dry this and see what can I create out of this repurposed pastel painting. Well, I flipped this a different direction and I did add a little bit of mark making to get started on this. I added some water-soluble derwent charcoal, and I added a little bit of hard pastel, and it, this is not going to be a flower at all or have any flower references. It's just uh, going to be mark-making, color, responding to what I'm putting down, just very intuitive. Well, I'm just responding to the colors that I see in front of me, and I'm doing a lot of different kinds of mark making using different pastels. I've got some large art spectrum pastels. I've got some unisons, um, some Giro, just a lot of different colors that I'm using, but really trying to stick with the, the color scheme of some warm uh, ochre colors and gold and some greens and just kind of working very intuitively. So while I'm working on this, I just really try to turn off my brain and just respond to what I see in front of me and just ask myself, what does it need? What does it need in this space? Um, if I put a color down one place, I'd like to repeat that color somewhere else in a different way. And I like to move that color around throughout the pastel painting. So it's just a lot of fun to experiment, try new things. And that's what really is the purpose of a repurposed piece of pastel paper is to give you the opportunity to experiment and um, enjoy the process. So if you would like to learn more and see some of my other longer videos, I hope that you will join me on my Patreon channel. That's patreon.com slash Deborah L. Stewart. And you can see almost 100 different videos on pastel and acrylic painting. And also check out my online Zoom courses with Winslow Art Center. Thanks for watching.